What's going on everyone? Cubologist here again. And as you can see today, we're going to be covering all four G permutations. Yeah. So if we're going to be covering all four cases in one video, the first thing I want to cover is how we're going to recognize these cases and how we're going to differentiate them from each other. Now this isn't my own unique system, so I'm not trying to take credit for it. I don't know where I picked it up, but it really worked for me when I was learning them and when I was starting to recognize them, and I think it will really help you guys. Recognizing a G-perm for me consists of two parts. There is a pair of headlights on every case, as you can see there, and there is a two by one block. So on the GA, it is right down here facing you on the bottom right. The GB, it's on the right top. The GC, it's on the top right. And the GD, it's on the right bottom. So that's how we're gonna recognize them. There's one little subtlety with the B and the D, the colors that make the headlights and the edge color right there are always gonna be opposites. That way you know your two by one block will be on the right, so it'll either be the B or the D. But that's just something to think about. It's not really that big of a deal before you even know the algorithms, right? So let's get into this first case. So with this first G-perm, the way you recognize it, like I said before, is you put your headlights on the left, which we're gonna do for every case. You see that these are not opposite, so that narrows it down to the A or the C, and you see that they're facing you on the bottom right. That means you have the G-A-P-L-L. So when you get this case, hold it like this and do this algorithm. R2, small u, R prime, u, R prime, u prime, R, small u prime, R2, y rotation, L prime, u, L. And the good thing about the GA PLL is, if you do it again, you actually get the next case that we're gonna cover, the GB. So here's how I execute that, and it'll get us on track to do our next algorithm. So this is the GB PLL. The way you recognize it is very similar to the other three cases. With your headlights on the left, you see that these two colors are opposite. So it's either gonna be B or D. You look to the right and you see that the bar is on the right top. And that's how you know you have the GB algorithm. So when you see that you have this case, you do this algorithm. R prime, U prime, R, Y rotation, R2, U, R prime, U, R, U prime, R, small u prime, R2. Now, if you do the GB algorithm from a solved state, you get the GA, so it's really helpful if you're practicing your GPLLs. And here's how I do that. And that gives you the original case we did, the GA. The next case we're gonna be covering is the GC PLL. And with recognition, it's a lot the same as the first two. Headlights on left, you see that your two by one block is on the top right, facing away from you. And once you recognize that you have this case, you do the following algorithm. R2, small u prime, R, u prime, R, u, R prime, small u, R2, y rotation, R, u prime, R prime. So now I'm gonna be performing this algorithm from the solved state in order to give us our last case, the GD algorithm, because like the first two G perms, the last two are connected in that if you do one from the solved state, you get the other one. So it's a good way to practice. But here's how I execute that case and pay attention about halfway through because I push with my left index finger to do a small u prime. So here we go. Little lock up there, but I can normally do it in under two seconds. So this is the last case we're gonna be covering today, the GD PLL with your headlights on the left, and these two are opposite colors, so you know it's gonna be the B or the D, and since it's opposite, you know your two by one bar is gonna be over here, and in the case of the GD algorithm, it's on the bottom. This is actually my favorite G-perm because I think it's my quickest, but it's by no means quick uh, compared to fast speed cubers, but it's really easy to learn and it's really easy to recognize. So this was the best way I could find to learn it. So when you find that you have this case, you want to do the following algorithm. R, U, R prime, a Y prime rotation, R2, small U prime, R, U prime, R prime, 
u r prime small u r2. So now I'm going to perform the case from the solved state just to show you that it does indeed give you the previous g perm that we covered and that really helps you practice so you can go back and forth uh, from the solved state to one g perm then do it twice then do the other one twice and it just helps out because you can just drill these algorithms into your mind that way. So here's how I perform the gd PLL. And I think that one's really quick and it's really fun to solve because it's kind of finger tricky. So the last thing I wanted to cover was actually AUF, and that's just adjusting the upper face. That's the adjustments you have to do after you've done the PLL in order to solve the cube. A lot of people ask that, so I'll probably cover it in every video. But the way that you recognize it on G-perms, and it's all the same, is that two by one block. So if the two by one block, the way that you recognize it with the headlights and the two by one block, so the headlights will never be solved. Uh, but the two by one block will always be solved. So if your two by one blocks orange and it's over orange, then that's how you solve that. So if you come up with this case on your GA PLL, then this is how you do it. And there will be no adjustments after you're done because you see these are already solved and that's how it's done. See there? So there's no adjustments afterwards. So if you come across something like this with the GB PLL, you see that you've got everything set up, but the two by one block isn't solved. You know that you have to do a U to solve it. So instead of doing that, rotating, then doing your PLL, just do your PLL and then do the U and you're done. And you knew that you had to do a U because you saw it at the beginning. And it's a good way to speed up your last layer. Now I'm just gonna show you what it looks like on the remaining ones. I see that I've got the GC algorithm and I'm gonna to have to do a U2 at the end. And that's how you do it. And now we take a look at this last GD case. Oh, it's already set up. So once we do the algorithm, it's already solved. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this kind of lengthy GPerm video. But the series is for beginners, and I want to be thorough. So I hope this helped out. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions or if this worked for you. But uh, like I said, I really appreciate you all watching. And as always, guys, you will hear from me very soon. Go check out my Facebook page if you want to have a discussion about PLLs. See you later, guys. Bye.